We begin, though, with a shootout right near the downtown core. A murder suspect wanted in Ohio opens fire on Detroit police. Police say the man who opened fire on them was wanted for a triple murder and two attempted murders in Cincinnati. He was walking out of the Rivertown Inn and Suites at Jefferson and Rivard when police say he started shooting at them. Priya man live with the new video and Priya, apparently police were worried about the safety of guests there before this happened. Yeah, that's right, Devin and Kim. You know, police knew he was here. They also knew he was armed and dangerous, and they were worried that what happened in the parking lot would happen inside if they tried to arrest him in his room. Now, we did talk to a guest who was on his hands and knees as this alleged killer and Detroit police exchanged gunfire just a few feet away. Terrified motel guests and staff ducked for cover as a shootout between a murder suspect and Detroit police unfolded in the parking lot. I came out the room, but that's a full fledged shootout. He had a pistol. He was shooting back. You had like a million police. Everybody was shooting. A guest tells Local 4 he'd just seen the gunman moments before he opened fire on police. He was cool as hell. So nothing seemed odd or off about him? Hell no, the two of them popped off. They're going to let us leave the room. The shooter is from Ohio, wanted for killing three people and attempting to kill two others. Cincinnati police say 55 year old Chandra Moore began his deadly rampage by shooting his estranged wife Sunday. He then traveled from Cincinnati to Detroit and checked into the Rivertown Inn and Suites just blocks away from the Rensen. You come to the city of Detroit, we'll find you. Concerned for the safety of guests, Detroit police waited for Moore to leave the motel Monday morning. When Moore spotted police, he went to his car, grabbed a gun, and opened fire. Lord be with us. We got this, y'all. Detroit police officers shot back, hitting Moore several times. Our police officers are relentless in tracking down violent suspects. Uh, we were able to really save lives. Uh, this was a very dangerous suspect. Clearly, uh, he was focused on one thing, um, and that's take additional lives. Now, thankfully, no officers were injured. Moore remains in the hospital in critical condition. If he survives, there is an active murder warrant out for him in Cincinnati. He will also, of course, face charges here in Detroit. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. And Priya, he had more than one gun, right? Yeah, that's right. He was heavily armed. Detroit police discovered two revolvers and a semi-automatic weapon. And as you heard Chief Craig say, police believe he was intent on causing even more harm. Send it right. back to you. All right, Pia.